Churchill College is part of the University of Cambridge, but it is also the National and Commonwealth Memorial to Sir Winston Churchill, Britain's most famous Prime Minister. Today, it's a vibrant community of some 475 undergraduates, some 385 postgraduates. Sir Winston Churchill came here just once, on the 17th of October, 1959. He planted an oak tree and he made a speech setting out his vision for the college that was going to bear his name, which was that it should train scientists, technologists and engineers looking to the future, which it still does today. But just a few yards from the tree that he planted is the Churchill Archive Centre, which was purpose-built to house his papers, his archive. It exists thanks to the generosity of various American citizens who saw in it the potential to become the equivalent of one of their great US presidential libraries. The Churchill Papers alone are some two and a half thousand boxes, an estimated one million items, chronicling Churchill's life from cradle to grave. But now he is surrounded by the papers of many of his contemporaries, other politicians, diplomats, military leaders, and scientists of the modern era, including the personal archives of both Margaret Thatcher and Sir John Major. The mission of the Archive Centre is to preserve this material so that it's here not just for this generation, but for generations to come. But it's also to make it as available and accessible as possible.